So I just got a question asking how I created this image. So you can see the reflection, but you cannot see the person. And I'm going to show you how I did it. So I have two images, one image with the person and the reflection, and a second image with just the shoes. So the first thing we want to do is just make sure that um, this image looks good. So I'm just going to adjust the exposure a little bit, um, reduce the highlights possibly, might lift the shadows a little bit. I'm going to make the darker dark, maybe lift. So basically, I'm just doing this to make the reflection look nice. And uh, I'm going to enable this lens profile correction. So you can see that I had marked both images, so I work on both of them at the same time to make sure that it looks the same. Um, yeah, for this purpose, let's say we're happy with this. So now we just open the two images. And what I then do is I just copy this image into the first image, and then I choose, I mark both of them, and then I choose uh, Edit Auto Align Layers. Just Auto. And that did a pretty good job with the right shoe, but the left shoe is not in the right place, and that caused going to cause me problems. Uh, so when I did it last time, what I did was basically I took a read of the shoe, copied pasted it, um, and then just tried to align it manually. And because when I tried it automatic for the shoe, it didn't work. So here I'm just zooming in and trying to get the shoe roughly in the right place. And it's the top of the shoe that actually matters. So let's say that's pretty good. Okay. So what do we do then? We start by fixing what a layer mask, reveal all, and do it the other way around. So now we have the shadow. Uh, we're gonna need to polish this a little bit, but let's start there. Um, and then I just paint into the layer mask. So here I want to have paint with black to make sure we retain the thing underneath. Okay. Let me just get rid of the shoe on this side. And then next we're going to put this one on, uh, and here we also need a layer mask. I'm actually going to do a high wall, and then I just paint in the bits to get the shoe. And um, that's pretty much the result to it. Then you just uh, crop it. And then you probably want to just do curves adjustment to really emphasize the shadows. And there we have it. Yep. So you take two images, you combine them, one image with the person and the shadow, and one with just the shoes, and it's, that's all there is to it.